a lesson for all daily at 6 a.m. Hi everyone, it is a delight to have you join us for another episode of Alpha. I am Pauline Marston Tomlinson. Let us pray. Father, we thank you for this day. And as we open your words, may we find in them things that will allow us to purpose in our hearts that nothing shall be able to separate us from your love. Continue to bless and keep us, we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. My brothers and sisters, our topic for today is the day of vengeance of our God. Or in other words, God will punish people who love to do evil. Our main text is Isaiah 61 and I encourage you to read all of Isaiah 61. Now in Isaiah 61, the Savior shares the good news about many good things he will do. So, why does he promise that God will punish people who love to do evil? Is this good news too? That's a question. Now, when Jesus was in Nazareth, he read Isaiah 61. He read the first part of verse 2. It says, God has sent me to announce that the time has come for the Lord to show his kindness, or in other words, his loving favor. He also read Luke 4 verse 19. But then Jesus stopped reading and said, While you heard me reading these words just now, they were coming true. Jesus chose not to read the next words in the same verse. Our God will punish evil people. And you might ask, why is it that he never read the second part? Of course, that part was not yet fulfilled. Jesus came to make humans free from Satan. Jesus was just starting to do this work. So the time when God will also punish evil people had not come. Jesus told his followers that God will punish sinners in the future. My brethren, in Isaiah 61, the day of that God will punish evil people is the same as the Lord's overwhelming, scary, terrible, awful day of judging, or we normally say the day of judgment. This day will be awful and scary for people who refuse to accept the forgiveness of God. And I'm going to repeat that for emphasis. This day will be awful for and scary for the people who refuse to accept the forgiveness of God. This day will happen when Jesus comes to make this earth free from sin. Jesus will beat his enemies. What an assurance. He will make his people free, and I say praise the Lord. Jesus announced the start of the time for God to show his loving favor, but the end of that time will happen at the second coming. Now you might be asking, how can God be loving and at the same time he punishes evil people? Does this really make sense? Jesus, of course, told us to turn the other cheek, and we find that in Matthew 5, verse 38. And at the same time, Jesus promises that God will punish people who love to do evil. Paul also tells us not to do evil to people who do evil to us. And he also says that God will punish those people who don't know him. You might be wondering, but this this is flip-flopping. No, it is not. My brothers and sisters, as human beings, we are filled with faults. Our wisdom has limits. We are not always fair when we judge and punish other people. But God, God is always fair. Only He can be just 
and full of mercy when he punishes evil. And what I want you to take away from this lesson is that God loves us, but God hates sin. And if we continue to hold on to sin, then when God decides to get rid of sin once and for all, then you will be destroyed. So my brothers and sisters, let us accept the forgiveness of God and do not hold on to sin, because in holding on to sin, we will be destroyed. And that, my friend, is a lesson for all. Let us pray. Gracious Father, we are so thankful that you are a loving God. You are a caring and forgiving God. And when we come to you, you will in no wise cast us out. And so we ask that you forgive us of all our sins and help us to accept the forgiveness that you give us and walk in newness of life, we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you for joining us and come again tomorrow for another episode of Alpha. God bless you. A lesson for all daily at 6 a.m.